Hello, my fellow page turners, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with a hat who reads, and this is Upgrade by Blake Crouch. Now, I've been a Blake Crouch fan since I read Dark Matter. I love Dark Matter so much. It was one of my favorites, if not my favorite from the year it came out. I honestly don't remember. It might have been... It might not have been the favorite favorite, but it was up there towards the top. And I became a fan from that book. I read Recursion when he put that out a couple years later and thought it was fine. I didn't hate it, but I didn't really love it. And I honestly don't remember much of it. So when I first heard about Upgrade, I was excited. This was probably my most anticipated release of the year. Does it live up to the hype? Well, let's talk about it. First off, let's go with the synopsis. At first, Logan Ramsey isn't sure if anything's different. He just feels a little sharper, better able to concentrate, better at multitasking, reading a bit faster, memorizing better, needing less sleep. But before long, he can't deny it. Something's happening to his brain, to his body. He's starting to see the world and those around him, even those he loves most, in whole new ways. The truth is, Logan's genome has been hacked, and there's a reason he's been targeted for this upgrade. A reason that goes back decades to the darkest part of his past and a horrific family legacy. Worse still, what's happening to him is just the first step in a much larger plan, one that will inflict the same changes on humanity at large at a terrifying cost. Logan's the one person in the world capable of stopping what's been set in motion, but to have a chance at winning this war, he'll have to become something other than himself, maybe even something other than human. And even as he's fighting, he can't help wondering what if humanity's only hope for a future really does lie in engineering our own evolution. Bum, bum, bum. And <laughs> I was, of course, like I said, very excited about this. And when it started, I dove in and I moved through the first part pretty quick and actually made through the whole book pretty quick. I did really, for the most part, like this book. Is it as good as Dark Matter? I'm don't think so. It is second for me behind Dark Matter. Dark Matter is still my favorite. This one I had... I don't even know how to describe it. I had a couple little issues with it. And one of the issues is an issue I've had with other books is that when you're halfway through the book, it all of a sudden jumps ahead in time. Um, this one, it only jumps ahead by a year, so it's not like we have a huge jump. But... I feel like we could have not done that. It really didn't need to be done. The jump ahead just kind of adds a couple other things to the plot that wasn't really necessary per se. I understand why they did it, but I just didn't agree with some of it. I'm trying to keep it spoiler free because some people probably haven't read the book yet. And I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But something that happens... Something that's then told us exactly more at the very end and something that's kind of teased early on, it just didn't sit right with me exactly. I understand why they did it that way, but I didn't love that they did it that way, if that makes any sense. Um, the jumping ahead in time, again, it's not really necessary. I see why it adds some more time passing. It adds more of a story. Um... The actual character of Logan, I loved. I loved his evolution, <laughs> pun intended. Uh, from the character he is at the beginning to the character he is at the end, I mean, you clearly see the changes happening to his personality, to his physique, everything. You can easily tell he's evolving as a character, almost to the point that you almost don't think it's the same character you started with, which is fantastic about it. The character writing for him is great. And since a lot of the story is him alone... Or on his own, in his own thoughts, you really kind of need a strong character to get that across. So Blake does an amazing job getting that character across. The supporting cast is fine. I have a feeling I won't remember a lot of them. A lot of them feel just like caricatures. And maybe that's an issue I had with Dark Matter too. I don't remember. It's been just long enough since I read Dark Matter. I'm, I'm, sounds like I'm complaining about this book or nitpicking. I really enjoyed Upgrade. I didn't hate it or anything. I enjoyed it. It was a good summer read. The action was fun. The mystery was fun. 
the technology was all fun. Although, another minor nitpick. I keep nitpicking. I'm sorry. I keep nitpicking. Why is it that all these um, futuristic sci-fi novels, the world is always just in the shitter? Have you ever noticed that? It's always just a terrible place. Technology is really made things awful. There's never any novels where it's actually the future is decent. And I know it would not make for an interesting story if the future was just all flowers and sunshine or whatever, but I don't know. That's, I'm nitpicking. I'm nitpicking. As a whole, I did enjoy Upgrade. I gave it four stars. I would definitely check this out if you're a fan of like sci-fi thriller type stuff. Um... Or if you like a lot of the techno thrillers like that Michael Crichton wrote when he was alive. It fits into that niche really well. Um, like I said, the characters are all... The main character is well done. The supporting characters are fine. Um, yeah, it's... <laughs> it's an entertaining read for the summer months. And I urge you to check it out. What did you guys think? Have you read Upgrade? What did you think of it? Does it sound like one you'd want to read? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.